This is RecX. I'm LC. So what we're going to talk about today is dedicated word clock generators. One particular word clock generator is the Art Sync Gen. Now word clock generators serve one purpose. They tell your sound card or any other connected sound card at what rate to capture the audio. That's its only purpose. So we ordered one from Sweetwater. We wanted to hook it up to my sound card, which I've been having some problems with, and we wanted to see if it would help. So one thing I noticed is on the box, it says that you are going to get some terminators inside. I did not know this when I was ordering it from Sweetwater on their website. It was a pleasant find, just like this candy, which I'm not going to eat. But thanks for the gesture. I also got this catalog, pretty thick actually. Seems like it's got a little bit of everything in there. Category after category. Thanks again, Sweetwater. This is the BNC cables I ordered and the RCA cables that I'll be using to send the word clock to Spitif. This is the box that the Art Saint Chin came in. Now, as I stated earlier, it comes with terminators inside the box, but I was not aware of this, so I ordered extra terminators anyway. Each of the terminators are standard 75 ohm terminators and should be used at the end of your word clock chain. Check with the manufacturer of your sound card or signal processor to see if it's not already self-terminated. Spit of connections are digital connections and do not need to be terminated. Now let's get an up close look at the Art Sync Gen. This is the Art Sync Gen, it's project series by Art. It has one button on the front that allows you to switch between the different sampling rates. And it has an LCD display that allows you to see the rate that you're at, even in a dark or dimly lit room. Seems pretty sturdy being in a small casing like this. I'm pretty sure you could take it on the road and don't have to worry about it getting kicked around or stepped on. It's pretty small, you can see it fits in the palm of your hand. And if you see there in the lower left there, that first angle, it takes nine volts AC and DC. So technically you could run this device off of a nine volt battery supply. It comes with four B and C connections and two SPDIF connections. But today we're going to be using it with my PreSonus Firebox you see here. They've provided this manual that details some typical scenarios as far as BNC connections. You do have the option to daisy chain multiple signal processors and sound cards with one BNC connection using Word Clock. You want to check this to make sure you connect it up properly and it's properly terminated. Here you can see that I'm using my SPDIF input, which is the red connector there. I'll be using the RCA cable that I purchased from Sweetwater to connect that SPDIF input to the SPDIF output on the ArtSync Gen. Once I've made that connection, I'll put it where I can access it while it's in the rack, give it some power, and as you can see, it booted up to the standard CD quality 44.1. There's one button on the front of the device, as I stated earlier. So I'm just gonna sweep through the different frequencies here. See, that's 48. And skip the 88.3, I think I pressed it twice, and then it jumped to 96, and then 176, and then finally 192. So you can see, you can get the word clock signals from 44.1 all the way up to 192. So the only thing that's left to do now is to tell the firebox to start using the word clock coming from the art sync gen instead of using the clock generator inside of the firebox itself here's an example of what i've been experiencing so the internal clock generator has just been failing and it's losing its synchronization now this is currently in a state where it's syncing with the internal clock this is where the art sync gen is going to come in and take over my hope is that it will generate the clock source and get my sound card back up. Now you can do this one of two ways. There's usually a standalone driver that's accessible from your desktop or from the control panel. As you can see here, my sampling rate is 44.1 and it's set to the internal clock. So what we're gonna do is change that to SPDIF. This will tell the firebox to get its clock source exclusively from the SPDIF input on the back of the device. 
once you do this, you want to make sure that your audio interface or your signal processor is in sync. This is usually noted by some LED going solid blue if it's Firewire or red if it's USB. Check with the manufacturer for the exact indicator. In this case, I'm using Cubase. Now as it's loading up, I'm just checking to make sure I'm not getting any errors. This session is at 48K, so I had to set the Art Sync Gen to 48K, make sure my sound card was at 48K, and it was set to SPDIF as the clock source. I can hear the playback. As a matter of fact, this track that you're listening to in the background was recorded while using the Art Sync Gen. Here in Cubase, you can go in and take a look at the project settings. There you have the sample rate there for your project. You can go into the device setup menu and access the control panel for your sound card. Make sure that the sample rate is set to where it needs to be. As you can see, in this case, it's 48K and the clock source is SPDIF. Latency is at six milliseconds. Not bad. And that's the ArtSync Gen. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and make sure to click the notification bell so you'll be notified on our future uploads. This is RecX. I'm LC. See you next time.